A Facebook post of a historic looking sword. It's ignited a lot of interest across the Gulf Coast. A couple posted that they pulled it out of the waves of Pensacola Beach on June 28th. Now, nearly a week later, that post has racked up over 21,000 comments and over 8,000 shares. Who knew that a lone image of a rusty sword could wield so much fascination? The thrill of discovery is something that is very, very special. Dr. Judith Benz has led UWF's archaeology program in some big discoveries over the years, including historic shipwrecks. Usually when we find artifacts, they haven't been seen in hundreds or thousands of years. That's a rush. That's a real thrill of discovery. And I think that's why we go see the pyramids. It's why we go to see Indian mounds. It's why we go to museums, because those are the real thing. Patty Sacco posted on Facebook that her husband was combing for seashells 30 yards out on Pensacola Beach when they spotted the sword. The Florida Public Archaeology Network is working to determine its authenticity, but said it could be an 18th century American military sword. That's kind of rare, if, if it's real. And I emphasize, I'm not, we're not sure it's real, but by looking, at, looking at the pictures, it's really not corroded enough. It's not to be 150 years old. What happens with metal, especially steel in salt water, is it corrodes and it forms a, a hard casing around the actual artifact. And that happens pretty quick. These, both of these things were found in the same trash pit right over there just outside this house. This is a young Dr. Benz on a dig in Pensacola years ago. She told me recent storms could shake up even more discoveries. It's uncommon to find a sword sticking out of the, the, the beach on the uh, underwater, underneath the Gulf. But on the other hand, we have found those too. And it's interesting, we find things mostly like that after a big storm, because the sand moves back and forth. Historic finds aren't always finders keepers. Uh, on private property, it belongs to the private property owner uh, in this country. But if it's on city land or county land or state land, then rules apply and you just can't dig it and take it. Possible artifacts like this sword are protected. They do belong to the state and people should not take them and keep them or and personally or trade them or sell them because they belong to all of us. They are in state waters. The same thing holds for uh, federal waters. Whether the sword is indeed an ancient artifact or not is still a mystery, one that has yet to be revealed. And in archaeology, it's about us as a as a, a people here on the earth and what our story is because everybody and that sword, if it's real, even if it's a fake, it has a story. If you think you may have found something that's of historical value, take a picture, get GPS coordinates and report it. Contact the State Historic Preservation Office or the Florida Public Archaeology Network.